let's finish up page five. We're going to start on measure 55. It's going to continue in a similar vein to the second and third lines of this page. Our left hand will begin. You have the pinky on D flat, right by middle C. These are 16th notes, although of course the D flat is supposed to continue for the uh, dotted half. Um, practically speaking, again, your pedal will do it. Then forefinger is going to play E flat. And then the th three finger will play G flat at the same time your right hand joins in. Your right hand will be playing G flat, two G's above middle C, and the three finger will be playing uh, B, wait just a second, uh, yeah, B flat above that. So at the same time as the G flat below, hold the right hand because these are eighth notes. Well, the left hand continues on with the next 16th, two finger on the B flat above. Then we're going to play thumb on the D flat for the left hand. The right hand will switch to, they want four finger on the C and thumb on the A flat. Hold the right hand while the left hand two finger crosses up to E flat. And then the left hand has a beat and a, three beats of rest while the right hand plays the chord thumb on G flat, three finger on B flat. And you hold the G flat while the you let go of the B flat and play um, pinky on E flat. And then they want your four finger to go back to the D flat because they want your three finger to be ready to play the next chord, which will be three finger A flat, thumb on F. And this is going to happen at the same time as a rolling chord in your left hand. Your left hand will be playing pinky on middle C, four finger E flat, three finger F, two finger A flat, and thumb on C, so an octave. So it'll sound like, and then you let the pedal continue that sound while your right hand plays pinky on B flat above, and then forefinger can play A flat. Now technically you're still holding that F with your thumb, so it'd be like, okay? That um, a flat and F continue are tied to the next measure while the left hand is going to jump back down to bass clef for a measure. We'll have our pinky on the C below middle C, which is supposed to continue for a dotted half note. You can let your pedal do that. Three finger, well, you hold the right hand chord while the three finger on the left hand goes up to G flat. Then the two finger will play B flat at the same time as your right hand moves chords three finger G flat and two finger E flat below that. Hold, oh sorry, close with the B flat. And then hold the right hand while left hand thumb moves thumb to middle C. And then the left hand three finger will cross up to E flat while the right hand moves, forefinger to A flat, thumb to F, at the same time as the E flat and the left hand. Hold the right hand while the left hand moves on, two finger to G flat, and then right hand will move back down, three finger G flat, and it says two finger E flat, while the left hand thumb plays B flat. At the same time, this is a dotted quarter note, so it gets held for three beats because this is a 9-8 piece. Each note gets a beat. Um, and then we're going to kind of squunch our right hand down. You can keep holding the, the notes you've got with the two and four finger, but you kind of squunch your hand down 
you put your pinky on the F below and the thumb on the A below that, while your left hand is going to move down to thumb on E flat and probably three finger on middle C. And, and pinky on F, I forgot about that. And that is a dotted quarter note. You know, with that F at the bottom, you should do thumb two F, yeah. Thumb on top, two finger C, pinky on F. So let's play those two measures together. that rolling chord. Uh, this F should have been continued. Okay. And then move. Now the last line of the page. The right hand F continues, it's tied over to the next measure. So we're already holding that. Um, while the left hand is moving pinky to A, yeah, pinky to A flat. This is the A flat just below middle C. It's supposed to continue for a dotted half note's length of time. Again, your pedal will probably practically do that. And then the left, the right hand continues to be held. The left hand will move four finger to B flat. And then we'll have two finger to D flat while your right hand is playing. They want you to move your three finger to that same F you've been holding with your pinky. And they want you to put your thumb on the D flat below that. Hold the right hand while the left hand moves on, thumb to F. And then three finger will cross up to A flat in the left hand, while the right hand is going to move to two finger E flat, four finger G flat. Hold the right hand while the left hand goes two finger to B flat. Then the left hand has a measure and a, a, a beat, three beats of rest. While the right hand is going to go back to the three finger F, thumb on D flat chord. Hold the thumb on the D flat while you let go of the F with the middle finger and go to pinky on B flat above. And then back to three finger F. Now the right hand will play again the thumb on D flat and then two finger E flat. At the same time, your left hand plays another rolling chord. It's going to be playing G flat with the pinky below middle C, and then A flat, no, B flat, and then D flat, and then E flat. I like to play it with pinky on the G flat, three finger B flat, two finger D flat, thumb on the E flat. So it'll sound like. And then we hold that or let the pedal continue to sound while you play three finger F. Well, it says five finger. Let's try that. Five finger F and then four finger E flat which is tied over into the last measure of the page, measure 58. And we hold that while our left hand goes pinky to F below middle C, and then continues four finger A flat. These are 16th notes again. Then the left hand will play three finger B flat. At the same time, the right hand is playing two finger B flat just above middle C and three finger D flat above that. Then hold the right hand while the left hand continues on, two finger D flat. And then a uh, thumb will be on the F above that while the right hand moves to thumb on the C above middle C and four finger on the E flat above that. Hold the right hand 
Hold the left hand, cross his two finger up to A flat. And then the left hand has three beats of rest. While the right hand plays two finger B flat, just above middle C, and three finger D flat above that. This is a dotted quarter note. So it's held all during the left hand's rest. And then we're going to move right hand thumb to A flat and four finger to the C above that. While the left hand plays thumb on middle C, two finger G flat and three finger E flat below that. So now the right hand is a dotted quarter note. It's held for the rest of the measure, as is the left hand's C and G flat, but you will let go of the E flat, and then the pinky is going to go down, and practically you have to let go of the middle C too, or you can't reach it. You have to let the pedal continue it, but you can keep with your two finger on the D flat while your pinky goes down and plays A flat below. So... Yeah, interesting little maneuver. Let's try playing those two um, measures. So we've been holding the F since the last measure. Here we go. And then we're going to add the right hand in. There's a rolling chord.